nearby Harry Macklow, uh, another well-known developer, is building 432 Park Avenue. And in reports, he described that as the culmination of his career. Do you look at the Park Lane Hotel as, as the masterpiece of your career? I, I don't know, masterpiece. Like to me, wow, I mean, I put myself through school. I, I bought my first building in the Bronx. I can't believe that I'm this lucky and fortunate that I'm about to have this opportunity. But I'm really nervous because if you're going to develop there and you have a site of this caliber that's going to affect the New York City skyline, you better be really thoughtful about it. I gotta get it right. Do you have succession plans? Do, do you wanna hand this business over at some point to your children? If they woke up and they wanted to join the Peace Corps, I think that would be great. In fact, to, to both of them, I said to them, you would consider lives of public service. My kids are really, I mean, I'm so close with them. I really am, and as I was with my oldest son, who I lost, but I'm so close with them. Um, and they, I, I, you know, I'm proud of them because they talk about working and learning a craft and not wanting to trade on their name. Losing your oldest son, I just want to ask you, how did that how did that change you, and did it change anything in terms of your business and your personal life? Well, it was devastating. I mean, it was the worst day of my life. Um, my oldest boy, Andrew, was uh, I mean, he was my as all my children are, but he was my life, and you know, I sort of checked out of the business for four years um, with him. Um, so, and I and I thought he was going to be well, and. You know, then I got that news, and so that was even more shocking because I thought, you know, he had, he was past it. On the other hand, I had my, my son Andrew for 23 years, and he lives inside of me every single day. I mean, I talk to him, I sing to him. I, I you know, I've, I'm past being tormented by his death, but I think about him every day, and I go to his grave all the time, um, and this is his ring, and I wear his ring. Um, so 